Shall we go? Okay. So, uh, I've been today, so I employed by Intel, uh, usually to fix more things than I actually can break, uh, usually I fail that. I'm part of the Data Container Architecture Committee, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the project. I'm going to pack uh, one year and a half of content in 15 minutes, so I'm going to speak quite fast, and there are a bunch of things on my slides, I'm going to update my slides somewhere, so take a look at that and catch me up either in the corridor or in the social events. This is what I would like to cover today, so just like every program of the project, uh, how we have been doing, uh, my response to GBAT, what we have been working on this year, uh, plans for the future, uh, ways to get involved, and the takeaways uh, of this talk. Is everyone here familiar with containers? Oh, I thought I was in the wrong audience. That's the reason for this slide here. So, containers in general, everyone is familiar. But containers, you put that inside a very lightweight virtual machine, and that's got containers in a nutshell, and that makes it appropriate for this conference. Uh, so, a lot of us, so previous talks were showing a lot of numbers, a lot of numbers. I, well, I sincerely think this is boring for that containers, but yeah. The only thing I'd like to show you guys is we have been growing on all metrics that I can get here. Apart from the number of organizations participating, this is uh, numbers from 2022. But, well, the key takeaway from this slide at least is we are a project that has a bunch of companies involved, a bunch of uh, non no, but the players are not affiliated to, to the, any, any kind of company, but also a bunch of companies. So I consider that a very helpful method for the project. Well, <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Who is David? Come on! <laughs> David, someone. I mean, David might be obsessed with what we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope you guys can see this. Uh, 
Uh, another thing that was really good for us as part of the community, we started had, uh, launching a product based on data containers. That's amazing because we actually could validate the effort that we are doing as part of the community. And uh, two other things, like we have a new community manager, so Triba, she was supposed to be here, she couldn't, she's on the OEF summit in Canada. Uh, and I would like to say thanks to Sunny, who was the community manager before her, and then the architecture committee board. We are an open project with an open governance, and we have a new member called Gary from Alibaba, amazing engineer, amazing person to work with, and he just took over the seat of Arjuna. And Arjuna, thanks a lot for the time service. More numbers now comparing with the ones from last year. You can see uh, we are kind of on the same pace, so we are not gonna we are gonna match or even like grow. Compared to last year, same thing here. Still uh, a project that is not owned by only one company, that is not like driven only by the interest of one company. And let me tell you what we have been doing so far in this year. Uh, I told you about the restaurant time. This is gonna get enabled quite soon. Right? This is running all the tests that we have, this is passing all the tests that we have, and we have been adding support to other VMS. So, James Hunt from Intel added support for Product Advisor, uh, Nubificus, which is a company from the UK, added support to Firecracker, and I know that Pablo Morris, who is somewhere here, has been working on this support for TMO. So, we hope to have this enabled as part of our next uh, major release. Uh, last year, we had support to Intel TDX, uh, this year, we had support to AMD 7 SNB. NVIDIA has been doing a lot of work to have. Uh, GPUs properly working with flat containers, and now we even have uh, artifacts being released with uh, support to, to NVIDIA drivers, which is very cool. Another thing that is really great, at least in my opinion, is for the first time we have a true multi-art release. We support x86, we support ARM, we support Ethernet X, we are releasing binaries for those, we are releasing a payload that people can just get and run on their Ethernet clusters. Uh, with this architecture. Uh, on the confidential container side, this is a mess right now. A nice mess, but still a mess. Uh, we are working on a branch of cloud containers. No one really likes to work on a branch. This branch has been the, the very from main. And now we are just getting a lot of work to get everything back into the main and have confidential containers actually consuming cloud containers, not a branch of the project. Uh, we have a lot of or modernizing the CI in order to support this, in order to have machines being plugged in from different vendors. Uh, I'm deeply involved on this. I hate things, sorry. Uh, so that's the main motivation. And not, right now, I'm not sure how, how I feel about this. Asking in three months from now, because it has been painful. Uh, another thing, more internship programs we had pretty much so far to, the, to right now. The double of internship programs, as far as I remember, had eight uh, internships, internship programs between uh, university programs plus uh, summer of school light programs uh, based in China. And this has been amazing. We have been getting students that are coming here, staying, contributing, becoming mentors. That, that's freaking amazing. Uh, another thing that happened this year that is very good to validate what we are doing is that Azure release an offering using custom containers. So it actually validates that what we are doing is a cool thing, that CSPs are actually interested in using this, and they are, are actually used. So, freaking cool. And I think it will be changed, again. Uh, last year we had like five seats, we increased two, now we have seven. Feng Wang from Confluent and Zip Parson from IBM joined us. Amazing engineers, amazing people to work with. But let me just go through quite fast about what we have been doing now. Uh, we have been working on Wasm support, and Wasm is trying to become a first class citizen on Kubernetes. Uh, website is quite amazing. And if you are thinking, like, why don't show how I run like a sandbox inside a sandbox, we are not proposing to do that. Uh, this is going to be run on the same level uh, as the sheet. We are trying to take advantage of uh, containers and box, containers and box API. This could be a talk on its own, one hour and a half, easily. 
take it that we're going to make things simpler and improve the our footprint there. Uh, remote hypervisor, folks from my are familiar uh, about this called like PeerPods, uh, Adapter. This is a way to run Kafka containers without needing to do nesting, nesting virtualization, which some providers do not actually provide the ability to do so. So you just like start a PM on your CSP on the same level as your PM. So that's very good for the project. Uh, we are doing margin to improvements, not only from NVIDIA, but also from Intel. Uh, and we are trying to do like meetings that are a little bit more help, well, more friendly on a friendlier time for folks based in Asia. A bunch of our community, a bunch of community members, a bunch of our consumers are coming from China. So we want them to be to feel as part of the community as they should be. Uh, next year, we are going to do our major release. Hopefully, we're going to have everything here included, including your contributions. Do you want to know what you want to build? Well, go there at the community.io slash community, uh, reach us on Slack. And remember, why are ideas are always welcome, and we do welcome those. Hands-on contributions are even better. We lack help. We need help. Then the takeaways that I would like you guys to leave this talk with are we are a health community, we have been growing, uh, we have been following open governance, so anyone can become part of the architecture community, this is election, just go there, do some more, become uh, known in the community and you have your space there. Uh, there is a lot of work to be done, really. Uh, there is a lot of areas to be improved and we really would like to have you as part of the contributors of the project. And that's it. Thanks a lot uh, here on behalf of the architectural community of Part Containers. Thanks a lot for your time, for your patience. Thanks, David. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.